Hello everybody and welcome back to my modded survival let's play in between episodes I've been a little bit busy I got some things done I started a couple more projects I finished a couple projects and went on a little mining trip and in our mining trip what this chest here is the results of said mining trip and I will show you all the cool loots that we found found two safari nets single use ones these are for um, you can capture mobs in them almost like a pokeball and you can release them where you want them pretty much oh, some spaghetti and meatballs from the Pam's Harvest Craft and look at the hunger and saturation that those two fill and that's a really good find food wise found the saddle which means we can find the horse and tame it found some nether quartz and a chest, some dark steel, name tag, almost a stack and a half of rails, a whole mess of string, and some sapphires. I also found two more monster spawners. One is a zombie and one is a cave spider. I found an abandoned mine shaft while I was uh, mining. And that's where that came from. And we also... I also peeked my head into the nether to find some glowstone and in the nether I ran across these gravestones and I plan on doing something with them in the future however right now I'm just gonna leave them right here in the loot chest and over here I've been trying to consolidate chests and move chests and things like that and get things out of here and into another area and oh yeah coolest thing like I said I had an idea for the pathway yeah this is from Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod stone paths they're made simply by putting two pieces of cobblestone next to each other almost like the stone pressure plate recipe and I've been working on our big industrial building I've got two oil tanks done that I said I wanted to do I did a lot of work in here I finished off the first floor I got our piping leadstone flux ducts this pipes energy over to our tree farm and I will come back to that and show you that momentarily I've got some random machines and stuff in here and what I thought was oil underneath our floor down here it's not oil guys it was sludge it was nasty and another big project here that I'm working on is I'm working on an auto storage system. This chest, let me see if we can see it from here. But that chest down there at the bottom, you put stuff in that and it comes through these pipes. And I'll show you. I'll show you real quick, no worries. I put a chest out here right here and you see the little black thing underneath it that is a transfer node for items with some speed upgrades in it and I'll show you how to make the speed upgrades speed upgrade there's ender IO ones but those don't work for this extra utilities some they're kind of expensive four redstone blocks some gold but you get four of them and what happens is I throw items in this chest like this the chest sucks it up and underneath here you can barely see it down there there's some pipes down there you suck it up send it over here and inside this the pipes run all the way up to the second floor and distributes the items in the boxes and such up there. Sorry guys, I had to uh, do some stuff here. But yeah, carpenter's blocks, factory blocks from chisel. Makes a cool little uh, like pipe tube type system thing there. On the side that sends our items up and into our sorting system and the 
There's some, also some other cool little things that I've done, which I'll show you. I moved, remember I said I wanted to move the catwalk thing, and I moved our bed in here. This whole floor here is going to be nothing but storage. We're going to need a lot of storage. I got the third floor just about done. Made this little thing here, which is like, has a cool sound. I love it. And over top of our smeltery, I put a chimney. It's basically glare and fire out of it, which I thought was really cool. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Excuse me. And yeah, Malaysis doors, some more carpenters stuff. Some more factory blocks. I have an awesome idea what I'm going to do up here. This floor is going to be like our industrial factorization and crafting floor. And it's going to, a lot of the materials that's being crafted is going to be piped down through the floor and into our sorting system here on our second floor. And, but now I will go and show you the tree farm. And then we are going to go on a little adventure because I need to find, for the most part, I need to find some more oak saplings. And I'll tell you why in just a second here. But you see the, the, the redstone pipes there coming off our generators? They go down under the floor and come out, come out through. They come through here underground, leading to this leadstone energy cell. This is like a battery, okay, and I will show you how to make those, energy cell, they're, they're kind of material heavy, you need some lead, some glass, and that is the sound of the tree farm working, it just chop down a tree automatically, and you make the cell frame, and then you use the frame in here, and you need a uh, piece of a, uh, electrum that's redstone to make the conductive coil. And then you put it together with some copper, and it makes basically a battery. And there goes another tree. And basically, these batteries hold 400,000 RF. And as you can see, the energy is full here. Our machine planter has oak saplings and rubber saplings in it and this automatically plants those saplings this is why I need more oak saplings and I'll show you how to make the planter planter these take a little bit you need some plastic which is why I'm growing rubber trees and flower pot a basic machine frame, it's made with some iron, some glass, a tin gear, which takes tin ingots around, an iron ingot, and another tree. A redstone reception coil, these are made with gold. And copper gears made the same way tin gears are. And that's our planter. Now, up top here, I have this hardened portable tank here because our harvester, this is what chops the trees down. I have it to shear leaves off at the moment because I had them on and I got all these leaves, which I'm going to use these leaves for another project before too long. So far we've got a stack of oak wood, which is really good because we're going to be making something with those. We're going to be making java barrels, rubber wood that's going to be used to make coal, or charcoal, I'm sorry, and raw rubber that's going to be piped out. Everything in this chest is going to be piped out and put to use. And it's all going to be automated in the future, and the rest of it I'll walk you guys through step by step. I didn't walk you guys through step by step in this process because I wasn't entirely sure how to hook these all up and I wanted to not look like a bozo 
putting stuff together. So I did a little work on that off camera. I'm going to throw the oak saplings back in there. And eventually the oak saplings are going to be piped automatically back down to our planter. And all of this out here, there's going to be a huge, there's going to be a building over here, a small building, uh, production and whatnot. And the harvester also produces, I think it produces sludge here as well, which is what this tank is being used for to contain that. And this is another one that holds 32 buckets. And to make the harvester, I'll show you how to make those. Harvester. This takes a little bit more. It takes plastic, of course. Basic machine frame. It takes a pair of shears, which is just two iron ingots. Envar axes. They're made like the vanilla iron axe, only with envar, which is a mixture of iron and nickel. Two iron to one nickel makes an end bar. And it takes some gold gears, which gears are made the same way. Gold, around an iron gear, around a stone gear. Oh, these are different gears. But, anyhow. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can make them this way, too. And another redstone reception coil. A little bit more resource heavy, but it, basically in this game, I notice you trade resources, like you spend iron and gold and bar and all that to basically almost get an unlimited amount of trees and wood and things like that. And I was trying to wait for another tree to grow here, and between episodes I had it on peaceful because I didn't want mob spawning and disturbing my business here. And like I said, there's another portal that I built to hop into the nether and grab some glowstone. We're going to kill uh, Mr. Skellington here. Because we need resources that skeletons give. And there's another one up here. A couple of them up here, actually. And one of these buggers has an enchanted bow. And he's really whacking on us. And I'm going to run away from the creeper. And we'll get this other skeleton. I'm trying to listen for the hissing sound. Okay, knock him back. Okay, good. Killed him. Now we'll run in and sleep. So we can try to prevent any more nasties from spawning. Oh, I hear something. Well, he's not anywhere nearby, must be, so... Oh. Spawned up here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. I'm going to tickle in my throat. Oh. We're spawning on the third floor. Which means, and probably spawning on the roof as well. That's probably how they're getting in. Alright. Pick this up. Holy cow. Yeah, I gotta do some work lighting this up, don't I? Alright, now. We'll find the chest and throw some stuff away. And there's another skeleton over there. At least we're not seeing any creepers, which is good. The creeper died there. Must be the one we killed. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to throw the random junk in here. Got some cool stuff. Got some bones, which is really good. Some arrows, which is good, because I still need to make a bow. Don't have a lot of food. There's rubber. The the rubber drops that you get, you put in a furnace and you get rubber bars. And you burn the rubber bars to get raw plastic. A couple more pieces of toast. I need to eat something here real quick. 
And we've adventured that way a little bit. We've adventured that way, that way. I think... I think we should go on an adventure this way a little bit. See if we can find some oak trees. And we do have our waypoints set on our map. Which is good, because that means we'll be able to find our way home. And we haven't really went this way too far, I don't believe. I do want to find some old trees. And I want to see what else we can find off in this direction. Hopefully not die in this adventure. That would be nice, not dying. Got a visual glitch happening here where it's... Uh, not loading in the rest of the world, or at least visually. There's all kinds of cave networks over there by the look of it. Yeah, I know it's considered cheating. I'm x-raying through the ground. But it's always nice to have a little heads up. Finding another mob spawner would be nice. I'd like to get a skeleton one. Doesn't look to be too much going on down there. So, oh well. I'll grab this sugar cane though, however. Always need sugar cane. Paper. That's another thing we need to get. We need to get an enchanting table set up. So we can start getting. Yeah, you can't. You cannot enchant Tinker's tools. Other than by using Tinker's construct and things like that. To make modifiers, which is ba your basic enchantments for Tinker's construct. But having an enchanting table to spend some of these levels that we've been gaining with our experience berries and everything, essence berries, and just random other stuff, spend the levels to enchant our armor. I'd really like to get some fire resistance, maybe some blast, blast resistance, projectile protection. Get some of those nice enchants. I think it'll help us out a lot. And we're not finding much other than sand and ocean. I don't really want to go on an ocean adventure. I'm not up for that, right? at least right now. You know, let me know if you want me to build a boat and sail across the ocean, see what we can find. Because we've got, like I said, we've got waypoints, so we can always find our way home. But for right now, I just want to peruse the land a little bit to see what we can find. See if we can find a nice little cave system. And another NPC village would be good. Hopefully one that will give us some resources that we don't have. That would be really nice. And, you know, maybe... Uh, our next village, or our next little village outpost type thing that I'm planning on building is going to be like a farming community. You know, like an old medieval farming village. I think that would be awesome. What do you guys think? But uh, I want to build one more building in our industrial park before we... Um, so to speak, move out, which we won't really be moving out. We'll just be finding another uh, area to build in, and it looks to be like a desert over that way. I'm going to go check that out, because why not, right? Uh, also, deserts are renowned for desert temples. There's also a higher chance of villages spawning in deserts. So yeah, we'll go check out the desert. Maybe harvest a bunch of sand off camera while we're there. So if we find something cool, I'll probably make a little camp somewhere here in the desert. Get some cactus. Never know what that'll be coming in handy for. Ouch. Those little tiny cactus buggers, they really 
You really hurt when you run into him. And go on here out. Quicksand. Huh. Oh, that means we're gonna have to be careful out here in the desert. Could walk into blindly walk into quicksand and die in the middle of the desert, and that would suck. So we need to keep our eyes peeled for that. So far in this desert, other than a little bit of oil, I believe this is oil. Don't want to jump in it and find out. That's how I found out that the uh, black stuff under our industrial building was not oil. Because I jumped into it. Or I didn't jump into it. I fell into it. And yeah, it poisoned me and all kinds of nastiness. Which was not a good time. I'll test this out, oil. Yeah, see, oil doesn't hurt you when you fall in it. Other than if you drown in it, that hurts you. I remember a couple episodes ago. Yeah, I tried to swim in oil. Let's not repeat that again. Like, ever. Shall we? And I'm just going to keep looking. This is a... Oh, 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 oh. Quick sand. At least I know how to handle quicksand. You just dig. Okay. A couple pieces of that quicksand could come in handy. Or say like a mob trap. And this is some cactus fruit. I picked that earlier. I'm going to eat that before we eat the bread. So I'm going to save my last couple pieces of bread. So totally unprepared. And oh, look at this, guys. We found something. Ouch. We found something. I didn't bring any diamond mine carts or anything with us. I'm going to gather a little bit more of this cactus fruit here. Come in handy. Found a desert temple. Oh, what the heck was that? That literally made me jump in real life. That scared me. Oh, I'm climbing up the wrong part of it. Don't really want to fall down into it. So I think I will do a little thing there. And I have a way that I go into exploring these temples. I stairway down. Some, sta some sandstone might be nice to have to do a little building. Another material. Staff of Traveling. When travel, when held, travel anchor anchors and ender aisle blocks become visible and can be activated by R click. Shift R click will teleport the player a short distance. Hmm, interesting. And it's your red heart. That's cool. We can make some heart containers. I'm gonna get rid of that pressure plate. A diamond. Oh, 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 oh. Weapon case, first edition. Another safari nut, which is really nice. Throw that pressure plate in there, we don't need that. Bacon, mushroom, burgers. Oh, that just made my mouth water. Some more safari nuts, which is always good. Some bones, really good. Some more safari nuts. Really cool, that means we can go on a little mob, catcher, mob capturing uh, thing. Page, grass color. From this craft, not bad. And we got all that. I don't want the rotten flesh. I want the pressure plate. Got all that. Alright, now. Underneath here, as everybody knows, some TNT. Never know when you need some TNT. I might want to build something that utilizes that someday. 
at the moment. Nothing comes to mind for a TNT usage, but like I said, you never know. As soon as we get out of here. Whoa! Holy snap! Holy cow! That scared me. Could have killed me. But count myself lucky, huh? That it only scared me. That must have been that thunder. Thunder must have hit a creeper and turned it into a charge creeper. Holy cow, I'm getting out of here. I brought my shovel. And it's night time, so... Yep. We're going to want to do something quick here. Don't have a bed, don't have... Yeah, okay, we don't have wool. Mm-hmm. I might have... I guess I better check. To see if I have that. don't have that. Well, in one of the mods that I really like, there's an item called a sleeping bag that you can bypass the night with. And really handy item to have. However, I don't have that mod installed here. I think it's Open Blocks that provides that and I don't think I can find a copy of that that works in this mod pack yet. So what I will do after I kill Mr. Creeper over here, what the heck is this? This is a haunted tool that gets stuck. Creeper's hurting himself. Helping us out. I want to try to get some more ender pearls. Creeper head, that's good. That will be helpful. Piece of wood here. Um, which we're going to have to use to make a crafting table. I know I'm getting a hit from Mr. Skeleton over here. Go away, man, you're bothering me. Interrupting me, man. And another haunted tool. Oh, whoa, whoa. TNT throwing creeper. Talk about bothering me. All part of the adventure, though, right? Okay, just trying to get away from things here a little bit. Go away. And we don't have any more wood. Here I'm not even thinking we could capture some of these things. Okay. Chisel, quick sand. Keep the sandstone. We can throw that away. Keep all the rest of everything here. Whoa! Good God! It's dangerous out here. I'm going to grab this gold gravel. We're going to need a lot of gold. Because I have some plans that are going to need gold. I'll grab that. I know I'm getting greedy here in nighttime, and it's dangerous. 
Where the heck was I seeing that baby spider? Die, spider! Cheapers! Grab some wood. We can grab a couple cows momentarily. Crafting table. Some wood. I hear a zombie. Where's our wall? Sleep the night away. Now hopefully it'll be a little bit safer. Grab our bed. A couple of zombies down there. Now let's throw away some junk. Now it's a little safer. Let's see what don't we need? String, we don't need that. We have a lot of that at home. Oh, I don't need to really throw much of anything away. I can put a lot of our cool stuff in here. Stuff that I don't think we're going to get a lot more of. Put a burger. Holy cow, that is awesome. We're going to save that for necessity when we need it. Another diamond, which is cool. Keep our bed in here. Put our sugar cane in there. Put the steel in there. And we're going to eat some more of this cactus fruit here in a minute. But I'm going to go and I'm going to capture a couple of those cows down there. Crafting table we don't really need to take with us because it's just basically one log, right? And, ooh, that hurt. And I'll show you how these safari nets work. You walk up to a mob, hold one in your hand, right click it, and Safari Net single use. Now, see what it says cow, cow for 10. That is one cow. And catch a second cow. Now we have two cows. Now we can start a little cow farm at some point in the future. I'm going to grab a cup. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's a big slime over there. I think I'm going to catch him. Don't know what I'm going to use him for yet. But. Did I catch him? Yep, blue slime. And. I'm going to save these last two for chickens. Sheep, I'm not really too worried about right now. Chickens, however, we're going to need chickens. Eggs, feathers, food, pumpkins. I will take a pumpkin. Well, we're getting some new resources, which is nice. Home trees, we have those nearby home. And at the end of the episode, I will show you this, the weapon case. I'll put it in our hot bar so we don't forget it. And um yeah. And we will carry on. I'd really like to find another NPC village or maybe a ravine or someplace that opens up into a cool little cave. To even though I can't craft one. Diamond Valley, that is. I can always mark it and come back and collect it at a later date. Because here, before too long, the other building that I'm talking about making in our industrial complex is a secret laboratory. <laughs> Where I'm going to have a lot of cool stuff in it. I've got some really great ideas for things to build in that lab some cool blocks that I want to use to construct it called laboratory blocks or laboratory blocks 
however you want to say it. And it doesn't look like there's going to be much melons. That's nice. Melons and more sugar canes. Look like some of these melons could be a food source to last us to last us until we get home as well as giving us another crop to plant when we do get home. Which reminds me, there's another mod that I want to get into. Uh, that's AgriCraft, which you can breed and um, breed and mutate your crops. I need some more clay because I need to make more crucibles. I've got bone meal, but I need crops, or I need clay. To make the um, porcelain clay and I need porcelain clay to make the crucibles so yeah clay is something we needed so I grabbed some of that and ouch darn cactus and I know I don't have a lot of food so I shouldn't be running so I'm gonna slow down and we're not heading home yet I'm just coming this way because I kind of ran out of direction. Ran out of land in the other direction. So I'm just going to head, I'm going to backtrack a little bit and then head off in a different direction. Keep the last of that. Keep my eyes peeled for quicksand. And we'll keep on keeping on. More sugar cane. Whoa. These stupid things. Yeah. Go away. Go away. I hear another one somewhere. He's in the water? Yeah, he's in the water. We'll get the slime. I always use slime. Sticky pistons and other things. For some machines. Whoa, we had a little bit of lag there, guys. And I thought I saw something in the distance, but my eyes playing tricks on me, I guess. Thought I saw a building. We've got a couple lag spikes. That means we're getting into new uh, unloaded chunks. There's a little bit of a No, oh, thank you. I don't want a slime hat. Go away. Got a couple flowers in my inventory somehow. I'm gonna pitch those. Go away. Don't need you yet. Do not need you yet. Sugar cane. Yes, please. Chickens. All right, chickens. I want to catch you, and I want to catch your little friend over here, too. Ah, chickens. Got cows, chickens, and a blue slime. That is awesome. A little island here. Doesn't look like there's much anything useful on this island. Some cactus and some quicksand, some sugar cane. We've got plenty of sugar cane. Don't think I'm gonna pay much attention to anymore. Oh, village, hello. Do I have any wood left? Um, no. Uh, smooth sandstone. Yeah, I will use that. Put all of our pokeballs. Up in there, keep our food out. Sugar cane, bucket can go in there. I'll eat this stuff here real quick. And then we will make our way to the village. <coughs> Excuse me. 
It looks like an immersive engineering house over there. A couple gardens, and from here it doesn't look like there's much else of anything useful. And I know it's kind of weird a village to spawn in like that. That's because of the Mo Villages mod. And I think before I release this mod pack to anyone, if anyone wants it, I think I'm going to go in the village and disable the villages from spawning in the middle of an ocean like this. Because this is just, it's kind of neat, yes, but it's also kind of a pain that villages spawn basically in the middle of the ocean with no, no real way of doing much of anything about it. Like I said, we need clay, so I'm going to collect some more of that. It's a house, more smeltery blocks. With some sandstone. Make kind of a little step here. And I like finding these crates in the immersive engineering buildings because there's so much materials you can get from them. I really like them. And I'm going to come across here. I'm going to get this one. Some steel, which is cool. Treated sticks. Don't know what they're used for yet. I plan on getting into immersive engineering. I hear it's a really great mod. That's why, oh, that's why I added it. Because it gives some... Um, variation to power and machines and things like that. I'll get it. Where'd the hammer go? Did we pick up the hammer? No. It flew off somewhere. I wanted it. Darn it. Oh well. Now, some more aluminum, some more copper, some more treated sticks. But yeah, like I was saying, I want to get into immersive engineering before too long because it's a really cool mod. I've looked into it a little bit and it does look neat and I do want to build some of the buildings from it because the buildings are more realistic where you actually have to run like wires and wiring and things like that and I just think it's a really cool mod. See, Mr. Villager. See, like the MV wire coil? That's for running, like, your machines and stuff. For on the immersive engineering. And, yeah. Uh, it won't be in this episode. Before we do uh, leave our industrial complex, I will get into it. So you can see what I mean about the machines looking more realistic and stuff. Bane of arthropods. That is a terrible trade, Mr. Villager. Just for that, I'm going to steal all of your books. And there's nothing we can do to stop me. I'm so bad when it comes to villages. A mesa biome over there. Hardened clay. Oh, I want to gather some of that stuff. I do. I like it. Gives us a lot of options for building and whatnot. Just trying to see what I could see. Don't think there's much else of anything left, really, for this village. Mm, not really. A couple buildings, some more smeltery stuff. Don't really need more smeltery stuff. We've got an immense smeltery. That is capable of pretty much smelting over two stacks of stuff at once. So, I'm not too worried about that. Bear with me for a moment, guys, while we swim over here. I want to do a little exploring on this mesa. And maybe harvest some of the sand, or the hardened clay. Different colors of the hardened clay. Because that would be handy. I want to get like a stack, if I can, of each color. I won't do that on camera. I'll probably do that between episodes. And we'll make it back home between episodes. 
Or, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Leave me a comment. If you want me to continue. Continue exploring. Leave me a comment. Or, say, well, nah, just go home. Either way. Either way, I'd be happy to do. If nobody comments about which direction to go, I might just keep on for a while. I might just I might just continue exploring for a bit. I don't know. Depends though because food is an issue. I wanna get home and get our new uh, resources taken care of properly. And while we're here I am going to collect at least a couple colors of this sand. I'll get some white. I have some plans for the white. Orange stand clay maybe. I don't know. Because in uh, in either our industrial complex or in the next area that I build, I want to do some themed buildings. Like I want to do like a kitchen. And some different building blocks will help just with some variety. Some different things we can build, you know, with different colors and whatnot. And I'll get some of that. I'll get some of this yellow. Yellow might come in handy for something. I don't know. And we've got our golden bag of holding, so inventory space isn't a real issue. I completely derped out and forgot for a while that we brought that with us. So, yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. Click some of this brown. That might be nice. But, yeah, I think we're getting a lot of awesome resources from this trip. It was totally worth it to come explore a little bit. We got to see some sights. Yeah, it was only a boring desert and some other crap. But it was worth it, I think. We'll put our new resources. Sandstone. I'm just going to chuck that. All of our new stuff here. We've got a couple more lanterns. There's a couple lanterns we're not going to have to build. Some books. I'm going to keep on going in this direction for a little bit. Man, darn cactuses, man, I'm telling you. And if I go into this desert for quite a ways and not see anything interesting, I will cut and come back in another episode. And I might continue exploring a little bit between episodes, see if I find anything really cool. If I find anything really cool, I'll wait to show you in our next episode. But, oh my goodness, this desert just seems to go on forever. It's like real life deserts, though. I mean, we've got some extremely huge deserts in real life. I believe one of the deserts in Africa goes on for like 3,000 miles or something similar to that. That's like if you tried to walk across that. That would be like trying to walk from New York to Florida and back. Walk. I mean, that, that just boggles the mind. And we did find another village. Let's go check it out. This looks like a pretty big village, too. There's a couple of Tinker's houses. Ouch. A couple of Tinker's houses. I might get some wheat from this place. And... Make some more toast. Yeah, they've got wheat. Oh, and they've got quicksand. Good quicksand. Dang it. Pay attention. I know that's what you guys are screaming at me. 
Pay attention, man. You're gonna die. Paying attention to the wheat and not paying attention to where I'm going. Let's see if there's anything cool in here other than the uh, pistons. Bronze pan. That yeah, doesn't look to be nothing interesting there. Uh, copper slime binding. I might take that just for the heck of it. Nothing interesting there. Leave the door open so I know I explored that house. Another Tinker's house. Must be another immersive engineering house over there. Ginger. You can move a bunch of random crap. Villagers convention. Ah, right, check that out. Nothing too interesting here. Nothing interesting there. Cactus. Villager getting hurt somehow. Oh. They're blindly walking into cacti. Awesome. Villagers are so smart, aren't they, guys? They just randomly kill each other, or kill themselves off. Pretty big village, but nothing really. Let's talk about killing, killing yourself randomly. I just walk off the edge of the cliff. So apparently, I'm not much brighter than a villager, huh? Let me in. Huh? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. I always like to check these places because once in a while you'll find something really cool like an Alamite pickhead or something. Which is really good. I got an idea for what I want to do with these. Instead of having a bunch of them take up a bunch of different places in my inventory, I'm going to place one down. I'm going to try to get this hammer. Where'd this hammer go? Oh, I got that one. A couple item frames, which is nice. A couple more lanterns I can uh, swipe. I'm going to go in my golden bag of hold in here. I'm going to bring out all of these storage crates. And I'm going to throw all the storage crates into a storage crate. Talk about space saving right there. Okay, I'll just throw that one in there. I'll boost these lanterns. All these lanterns that we can uh, obtain will come in handy. There'll be a couple less that I have to build. And Let's see what's off in this direction. It looks to be another village, guys. Uh, yep, another village. Some more wheat. I'm going to get some of these potatoes. I think I'm just going to steal all these potatoes. Find a place to cook them. Find a place to throw my bed down. Right here is good. Sleep for a moment. Prevent some mobs from spawning. And we will run to this village. I think we'll check this village out, guys, and then I will cut here. And do some more preparation, make some toast and other food and stuff to last us either going on more of an adventure or heading back to our base. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I know we'll need more food, which is what I'm going to do here, guys. So, I hope you've been enjoying my series so far, and I want to talk to you guys about something. Okay. I really appreciate everyone that has subscribed. I really do. But I really need more comments and stuff. I need some more interaction from you guys, man. You know, let me know. Let me know. You know, even if it sounds silly to you, I don't care. 
you can comment the silliest comment in the world, and I will still appreciate it. I appreciate everything, all the interaction from you guys. I appreciate all of it, more than you know. And every little comment or anything like that, it really does help my channel a lot. It lets me know what you guys like, what you don't like, uh, things like that. So, yeah, it becomes, become more involved, guys. Come on. You know, I know you can do it. I know you can. And we'll come up here. We'll check this house. And I will open that weapon crate and see what we get. After I do this house here. Oh, uh, nothing. Another piston. I'll grab it. I'll make something out of all these pistons here eventually. You'll see. I'll make something cool. And yeah. But like I was saying, leave me some comments, guys. I plan on making something awesome. And my goal right now is to try to get to 15 subscribers. I know it's not a lot, but I'm just starting out. And I think it's a good goal to have. 15 subscribers. So I'm going to find a house here to basically call my own temporarily. And make furnaces and a couple furnaces and whatnot. Make some food and things like that. I think this would be a good, good place right here to cut it for right now. So, let us see what shall happen with the weapon case. Alright, here we go. Bang. And we get, give us something good, give us something good. Oh, Gladius. Perfect. Alright. Now that we're starting to get some of those weapon case loots, I think what I'll do is I'll make a couple armor stands and some sword stands and things like that. To make like a trophy room. What do you guys think? I think that'd be cool. But, like I said, I think this is where I'm going to cut this episode for right now. And yeah, leave me some comments and stuff, guys. And until next time, have a good one. And I'll catch you on the flip side.